Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Anderson Composites Carbon Fiber Ram Air Hood for the 2018 and newer GT and EcoBoost Mustang. So this is a carbon fiber Ram Air style hood that's going to offer a really big change in the overall appearance of the 2018 Mustang. So you have your Ram Air section here in the center of the hood. You have two vents here, it is split, but you're also maintaining your heat extractor vents with this hood as well. Like I said, it obviously is carbon fiber and you do have a high gloss finish on this hood. And carbon fiber is great because it can be a standalone piece or it can pair nicely with any other carbon fiber pieces that you may have already on your trim. But carbon fiber is lighter and it's very durable and it's also paintable. So if you guys like the style of this hood but you're not in love with the carbon fiber finish, you can always paint this if you want to. And taking a closer look at things here, this is a double sided carbon fiber hood so you don't have a completely raw finish on the underside of this hood. The screens that are here in your heat extractor hood vents and here in the Ram Air vent are removable, so you can always remove them and paint them if you want to. You can paint them in accent color, you can always repaint them black if you need to at some point down the line. Now, one thing that is recommended with this hood, it does install with the factory hardware and the factory latch system, but Anderson Composites does recommend getting a set of hood pins with this hood just for safety reasons, and it is always recommended to run a heat shield on the underside of the hood as well. This cost about $1,500, and when it comes to the install, I'm gonna call it a two out of three wrenches in the difficulty meter, and of course, we'll show you how we got it on the car now. For this install, we used a body panel removal tool and a 10 millimeter socket, both in three eighths and quarter inch drive. So to start things off, you're obviously gonna wanna pop your hood, and there are a few things that we're gonna be transferring over from our factory hood to our new carbon fiber hood, including our latch here. So I have a 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt this. The next thing we'll transfer over are the windshield washer nozzles. So you will need a body panel removal tool because we do have to remove the push pins that are holding back our insulation here. We already have one missing. You guys are gonna have one right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use this tool to remove our line here from the hood, clipped into place in a couple different places. And now I'm gonna pop out this push pin right here and trace this back. All right, now we're gonna disconnect this line right here and we will remove the nozzle once we remove the hood from the car. All right guys, at this point, you're ready to remove your hood completely. You might need a second set of hands. It's really gonna make things helpful. So what I have here is a 10 millimeter socket. We put the hood prop down. We're gonna hold the hood really high up so we can reach these bolts here and we're just gonna remove them. All right guys, so we have the factory hood laid down here on a piece of cardboard just to keep it safe. We're now gonna transfer over our nozzles. So all you really have to do is pry up. These are just clipped into place. And for now, I'm gonna leave this sitting in here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel back some of the hood insulation. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this push pin here. I'm gonna pop these clips out. come over here to our other nozzle and I'm gonna disconnect right here. Okay, from here I can pull all of this out. I'm gonna do the same thing with the nozzle on the other side. So I'll lift up and it'll come unclipped. I'll be able to remove it. All right, now we're going to reinstall our nozzles into our carbon fiber hood. So what we're gonna do is we're going to feed the nozzle in this way and then it'll just clip into place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So we'll feed the line in. All right, these clips do come off and because we don't have anything to clip them into, you are gonna wanna remove them. It's just gonna make it a little bit easier to feed your line through. So we're just gonna take a flathead screwdriver. We'll unclip them remove them from the line, and it'll help us out a little bit. Make the connection here, and clip this nozzle into place. All right guys, before we install our new carbon fiber hood, we're gonna transfer over our hood latch. We are gonna use the hardware that Anderson Composites gives us.
And for now, I am gonna leave this a little bit loose just until I get everything lined up. All right, guys, so basically what we're doing is we are lining up the studs. I'm gonna use my head here to hold the hood, and I'm just gonna get these on for now, and then we'll work on lining things up. Once again, having a second set of hands here is really gonna help you out. This is one of those jobs you can't really do by yourself. All right, guys, so at this point, we are slowly letting the hood down, keeping an eye on the gaps. Everything's loose right now. We're just trying to fit the hood a little bit before we tighten things down. All right, so right now, we're in the process of fitting the hood still, and I'm just snugging the bolts up a little bit. Uh, Joe and I have the hood in a pretty good location. So this is gonna be a guess and check process. We are lowering the hood, checking to see how it's sitting, and then snugging your bolts a little bit at a time. All right, guys, the last thing we're gonna do is tighten down our latch here. All right, guys, with the hood completely fitted, all we have to do now is reconnect our fluid line here. We're just gonna snap that back into place. We'll be good to go. I am gonna feed this down a little bit more inside the car, just so it stays cleaner. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind, you can always check this hood out more online right here at americamuscle.com. <laughs>